The team of the sanctuary is comprised of experts in their fields and we have all the experts in the fields of the body, the mind, the soul, and the spirit. And what's interesting, we have a pretty good pool of, of perspective staff here because a lot of people live in Sedona because they want to. Sedona is not really a, a place of industry. It's not a place where somebody would think about going to get a job. It's a place where people are drawn to. So some of the our staff, you know, these are people, if I was in New York City, I don't know that I could afford some of these people, you know, at that at those rates. Or um, so, so this mass of people come and, you know, the primary thing that we are focused on at the sanctuary is that people have gotten well and they are well and they do their own work on an ongoing basis. And that doesn't mean taking a class to get my CEUs. That means I'm dealing with my issues. I'm dealing with my evolution. I'm getting my personal work done. And I can tell you that every single staff member, including the gardener, does that. And I mentioned the gardener specifically because we think, hey, that doesn't really matter. But actually it does because the way that a place looks and feels and is and getting fresh vegetables out of the garden, that's an important thing right there. And so uh, everybody here, um, our team, we have this kind of a horizontal matrix, so we're all on the same level. It's not like we have, you know, this hierarchy of things. Everybody's important here. That's our philosophy. Everybody, it takes a village to heal someone. You know, it takes a village, and we have a healing village here. So our people see on that page that you're looking at, you're going to see most of those people or you might see all of them depending on what is in your treatment plan. And these are all people that have used the technique that they're going to use with you to heal their own core issues. And that makes them an expert and they've done it. So it's not a theory. It's not that I've learned it. It's not a great technique. Sure, they've learned now great techniques that they'll use uh, because to it's one thing to receive the healing now I have to learn how to give it so I have to go to school and do all that so I become a master now I can use it for others but every single person has healed themselves through their modality and become an expert in their modality and knows how to heal other people with that modality so when you have a team of experts working on you in all of these areas again the movement that we get is so much more robust than in any center that I've ever been.